Now that we have learned the basic characteristics of digital and analog signals, let's dig deeper into the signal and its fundamental components. Analog signals have three basic components, amplitude, frequency, and phase. As shown in this picture, a sine wave is used to represent an analog signal. The amplitude of a signal is the height of the wave. This height often denotes the voltage level of the signal measured in volts, but it can also be current level of the signal measured in amps or the power level of the signal measured in watts. Here in this picture, we have low and high amplitude signals. As the signal moves forward, it may lose amplitude due to noise and friction, or it may gain amplitude if it goes through devices such as repeater or amplifiers. The frequency of a signal is the number of times a signal makes a complete cycle within a given time frame. The length or time interval of one cycle is called its period. The frequency of an analog signal is measured in hertz, which is equal to cycle per second. Spectrum is the range of frequency that the signal spans from minimum to maximum. Bandwidth is the absolute value of the difference between the lowest and highest frequencies of a signal. In this picture, we see three different analog signals. The upper signal completes one cycle in one second, which makes its frequency one hertz, or one cycle per second. The middle signal completes two cycles in one second, so its frequency is going to be two hertz. And the lower signal completes three cycles in one second, so this signal's frequency is three hertz. Each signal transmits a symbol such as a digit. So the higher the frequency, the higher is the data transmission rate. The phase of a signal is the position of the waveform relative to a given moment of time or relative to time zero. A change in phase can be any number of angles between zero and 360 degrees. Phase changes often occur on common angles such as 45, 90 or 180 degrees. A phase change or phase shift involves jumping forward or backward in the waveform at a given moment of time. Here in this picture we have three sine waves. The uh, upper wave has no phase change. B has a 180 degree phase change and C has a 90 degree phase change. When a signal passes through a medium, it may experience a loss of power due to friction. The loss of power is called attenuation and it is measured in decibel. To make up for attenuation, a signal can be amplified. For example, on a university campus, several lands can exist. As a signal travels long distances from one land to another, it may lose power, so various segments of a LAN can be connected to form a bigger LAN using a repeater or amplifier. The main function of a repeater is to improve the amplitude of a signal. 